What's up, YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, cards that everybody says is broken but isn't. Um, uh, so basically, um, before I start, sorry about all the pimples I've been breaking out recently. Anyways, um, as I was going to go on and say, um, the card I'm going to be talking about today is uh, Draco Sack. Um, everyone's like, oh shit, that card is so broken. Oh my god, it's so good. But the truth is, it's fucking not. It's not fucking broken. It's just not. It's not a broken card. It's not a broken card on its own. It's not even a broken card, period. Um, so I'm just kind of tired of people on like Duel Network, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Yeah, the card's broken. It's not. Um, dragons are broken. Prophecy is broken. The deck is broken. They're both broken. Um, but Drago Sack? No. It's not broken. It's not broken. Big Eye is fucking broken. So let me explain to you guys what broken is, if you guys don't know. Broken is when Bionic uh, can go in a loop and return all the cards on the field to your hand. That's broken. Uh, broken is when someone Trish Yellow loops you and then you're fucked. Period. Uh, broken is when Windups, or Zen Mighty, um, has the abil availability to make your whole hand disappear. It's a magic trick. Um, I guess that's Hunter too, so, um, anyways, so, let's think about Dragosack for a second. What is this effect? Its effect says, okay, two level seven monsters, okay, right there. Big cost, it really is a big cost. The only reason it's not considered a big cost, or it's so easy to make, is because elemental dragons are broken. They're, they're broken. They're broken by every definition of the, of the term, and the reason that is, um, it's a very powerful deck, but that's not what makes it broken. Um, the fact that you can super rejuve and plus six or plus eight or plus twelve or plus sixteen. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, or, is that right? Plus sixteen? Yeah, I think I've seen plus sixteen or plus eighteen or something crazy. Anyways, um, the fact that you can do that, that's broken with one card. Super rejuve. Durr. Plus 18, might as well be playing fucking Exodia. Same prophecy. Divine Judgment. Broken. However, because both decks are broken, it makes them even. If that makes any sense to you guys. Um, they're both broken, therefore, they're both not broken. Because they're equal to each other, because they're both broken as fuck. However, it kind of creates a rift in the meta, because no other deck can compete with them except for ones that have um blatant weakness. Like weakness I don't even know how to say that right. <laughs> it hints evil swarms. I mean why are evil swarms that good? Evil swarms aren't that good guys, I'm sorry. Um the reason they're good is because it's fucking great against E Dragons. That's why evil swarms are good. You go Ophion and E Dragons, you're like, hmm. Don't have Blaster. So, Scoop? So, yeah, basically, Evil Swarms are a bitch for them. But are they a good deck overall in a the, in the big picture? No, they're not. So, I just want to talk to you guys about that. Um, the Drago Sack play right now. Um, I do think that both decks should be hit. Um, so, more decks can come in, and I, I really hope that a slower, a slower game pace comes into play in the next format because fuck, I'm sick and tired of this fast shit. Like really, I am. It's just boring, um, and uh, I don't really like it. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for it going back to where it used to be, where you actually had to think about your place. Like you would go summon, set two back row, and turn pass. And OTKs, like, you had a deck that was meant to OTK. It wasn't like, yeah, eat dragons OTK sometimes. Or, you know, if I don't want to OTK, I don't. So, yeah, it's pretty broke. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm getting off topic. Back to Dracosac. Um, so, basically, what does he do? He summons two tokens. Okay. Um, and then he can pop one of those tokens to destroy a card on the field. Okay, Scrap Dragon with 200 less attack. Big deal. 
Oh wait, there's no, there's more. He can't be destroyed. Destroyed. Now note that the card does say destroyed. He can be banished. He can be compulsed. Um, he can be tributed with lava golem. Good luck pulling that one off. Anyways, that's what I'm saying. It, it's just it's not broken. It's just not. It's a fucking good card. It's very. It's a great effect. It's a great card, um, and it's it's got a fair cost. The reason that people perceive it as broken is because how easy dragons bring it out. Because they're just like dur spam, dur spam, dur spam, and then they're like, oh, dragasek. Um, so broken. I would reconsider that. Um, so yeah, that's really what I wanted to talk about. Uh, just kind of tired of people saying Draco Sack's broken when Big Eye is fucking broken. Even though even though Il Illinois Dragons barely use it, which is correct, they they really have no need for it. Um, Big, Big Eye is broken as fuck cards. Um, it's Snatch Deal. If you guys remember what Snatch Deal does, um, you can take any monster. It's the same thing. Big Eye takes any monster. That's like. It almost ruins the purpose of the game. It's like, this is my monster. I made it with my deck, and it was really hard to make. Even if it has, like, the, the craziest summoning conditions, you can just be like, hmm, big guy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not really fair. Um, the reason I think that mostly people don't use uh, big guy in dragons is because they, they don't, in the mirror at least, they don't want to get in a big guy battle because that's just fucking stupid, if you guys know what I mean. Where... First of all, let me just say this first. Never initiate a big eye battle with an E-Dragon player. It's usually the person that starts it that loses because it's fucking dumb. Think about it. You're summoning a big eye to take their Draco sack. Think about what you're doing right now. Okay, think ahead. What's going to happen next turn? Okay, okay. Unless you can OTK. If you can OTK, then it's fine. But if you go, okay, I'm going to take your Draco sack, and then my turn. I'm going to go. I'm going to go, okay, I'll big eye your big eye. And then big eye your Drago sack. So now I got two big eyes and a Drago sack. I end my turn if I don't OK. And then you go, OK, big eye, you big eye my big eye, the big eye, big eyes, the other big eye, and then the big eye, big eyes, the Drago sack. Don't do that. Actually, what I just said was impossible because the last big eye would have no materials. But still, you get my point. I would big eye the Drago sack and then pop the other big eye. Whatever, whenever someone initiates a big eye battle with me, here's what I do. I do the first part of the big eye battle. I'll take their big eye, big eye, big eye, and before they get a turn to take it back, like have a just a back and forth cycle, I tribute it or get rid of it somehow. Um, I've actually, I've actually, what did I do? I had a big eye and I. What did I do? Oh, that's right. I took the big eye, I t I tributed my Dragosec token to kill the big eye that had a material. And then I just had a big eye with no material on the Dragosec, so he didn't really want to go into big eye. I don't think he had any more left anyways. But uh, anyways, by the way, I recommend Master Blades for the mirror match for dragons. Instead of going into big eye or Dragosec for the mirror match, go to Master Blades. It's kind of fucked. Because uh, they're going to have a hard time with that. Um... And I mean after you get Draco Sack. I don't mean like the first turn go Master of Blades. I mean if they, if like, like if I go Draco Sack, they go Draco Sack. It's my turn. I'm gonna go Master of Blades because then they can't target with Big Eye, so it prevents that battle uh, in general. Anyways, that's it, guys. I just wanted to do a little rant, and I know it's kind of long now, but um, I thought it was important, and uh, kind of tired of people complaining about it. So peace out, Avenger Duels out.